Thank you. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure to be here. To I'm gonna talk about how I build the community of practice. I have been organizing community of practice remotely since the COVID, and COVID forced me to continue this way. And you can see uh, the below is the feedback from the section. Awesome place to learn and connect people. This is an amazing way to learn. Good opportunity to practice skill in the safe space. And also on the right side, uh, you can see we are the participant. Would you like to recommend this activity to your friend? And we got very high score. And I would like to share my story on that one. But before that, before I start the community, I have the question in mind. I wonder who can make the change in the organization. Uh, it is need to be the leadership team. Are you in the leadership team? And I'm not in the leadership team. And to make the change, it did need to be the team lead. Anyone have been team lead in here? And I'm not the team lead. And I wonder how can I make the change in the organization? And I feel like I'm alone, I cannot make the change. But I believe with the many of people, we can make it move. And this is my experimental that I want to share that how did I make it move. And let me introduce myself. I'm Tua Tirasak. I'm a Thai practitioner from the thought work. I have worked with thought work for a while, work in the startup corporate, international corporate. And that one I want to share more about the, my period that I organize the community inside the thought work. I have been organizing the community of practice remotely for the developer. And 60% of the developer in Bangkok office have joined at least one and more than 50% have joined more than one, and 25% have joined more than the half of the section. Before I tell you more about this, the committee that have, I have been organized, let's talk about the community of practice, what it is. Let's start why, let's start with why. And since everyone here should know about the agile and how about the organize, how the team structure nowadays. Before the agile war, agile adoption, each team, uh, each group have been grouped by the same functional, same law. But nowadays we try to shift it into the core functional team that the team can deliver value with the late dependency as much as possible. Everything should be done in the team, right? However, there are also the side effect of that one that uh, create the lack of communication between each team. Uh, I think you might be have faced this situation before, like right? I don't know anyone outside of my team. And especially since the COVID, how often you talk to someone else outside your team? That morning when I was on the COVID, Every day I just meet my team, didn't have the chance to talk to anyone outside because it don't have any chance to meet in the water cooler or the, in the, for the lunch or something like that. And this is not only the one situation, it have the many. Like the, I'm the only the BA in the team. I don't know who I gonna talk to. If I have any issue, have anything want to discuss, who should I lead out? And also, not only the, about the communication, sometimes it might be related to the technical issue or the some common problem in your organization that each team have their own solution for the same problem. And it's really hard to scale or consolidate into the one package. When I see this kind of the problem, I see a problem about the connecting people together, about the lacking of the supporting network. And how about the communica communication? 
and that is uh, something that community could help. And what is the community of practice? Actually, the community of practice are the group of the people that have shared a concern or a passion for something, and they do and learn how to do it better, and they interact regularly. And so normally, when we talk about the community, it means people that have the shared something, they have something in common, they join or have been the group together and interact together. And how could the community help on the, that problem, on that situation? The community help to create the support network. When people been together, they know each other, so they can support each other easier. And when they have the communication, they can share the, the period together. It increases the learning and the development. And when people talk, when people sharing, it makes the knowledge in the organization make it for already. That's why the knowledge sharing is the one key thing. And when people share the period, they can share about the problem that they have, how they solve it, and what they learn about it. Is it good? Is it bad? Should we continue that way or we should find another way that is scaled to some common approach that have been experimental for a while in the organization before make it in go, go into the larger group? And the last one is in key the collaborating uh, between the team in the another law and provide a better practice. And how could it look like? It might be just that the talk like this one, a presentation. It might be come from, from the internal or external. You can ask the gate from the outside of the company to give a talk to. And maybe it been the discussion. People just talk, being their concern, being their pain point, and it cut together how, how another people experience or see it. Or maybe do the, some exercise, the kata, or the workshop together, or maybe just the leading group. And since the COVID is fought you to do the remotely, and you might have the question, do it remotely, is it make it harder? I would say it's easier for me. Normally, if you do it for the, in the physical before the COVID, you need some space for being the people together. Like this, the most convenient, uh, the most convenient one will be the meeting room that it already have the speaker, have the projector already. But normally in the organization, meeting room is very hard to book. It might be full all the time. Even the after work, the company may not allow you to use it. And for the physical, you need to prepare a lot of the logistic one. It might be the fifth chart put its pain for the people. But for the virtual meeting, you can get everything with a few clicks. You can join the Zoom, provide the link. You don't need to prepare any logistic or any space for them. And then I'm going to share what I did, that I have been organized a software architecture committee practice, that we have the meet up every month, that you can see happy face from everyone. And what the objective of the community? The community that uh, objective is we create the area for everyone to practice the software architecture in the safe space. And they didn't come because of that one. They have the pain point, that's why they come. And Mori, their pain point is how do we become the good architecture if we don't have a chain? We don't have ability to practice architect. And you know, that's more how so we have support to get the gate architecture. If they only get the Shan architect fewer than the descent of time in the career. Because it's like the people are up to decide something, but in the organization, mostly the tech read or the system architecture already did for them, for the developer. So they didn't have the chance to pack it, and it's too risky to 
let them decide in the real world in the project that is maybe cost the a lot money for the organization so let's do it in the community in the safe space it benefit for everyone and the thing that we do we do the software architecture kata that we group uh, that is a small group exercise that each team gonna keep the some problem from and the requirement and then they do it in the group in the group they will discuss about the requirement about the solution about the option and then they get the something uh, for lovely solution that they have uh, it gonna look like this one that we do the visual it, that you can see we have the very big, big board online board and then let it let it team do that one on on that one and to make it more efficient and make people have the energy to do that one it's better to do in the smaller group and then bring it back to the main room in the local group to share what it they did together and then present to the local group and to do it remotely it's quite a bit easy you can use the zoom feature like the big out room to create the small room and bring people back into the main room if you do the it physically it's very really hard uh, to facilitate the people move to the small room and then need, you need to call the people into the bigger room again it's quite a bit chaotic sometimes but with with the zoom or the software just a few kick and it, you can make it happen and you might be wonder how did i start the community and to how say and to be honest with you i'm not the architecture expert so I know I can do it alone. So I need to find someone to be my co-founder, the buddy, who is gonna be the architecture expert that can fill my gap. So I found the buddy and then I asked some friend, you would like to join architecture kata and do it together. So I do it with a small group first and let's see how it's going. Is any confusion when we start, any obstacle, anything missing and we call and then correct the feedback how it's good how it's bad what it gonna improve like the thing that we do in the retrospective so we know what it good what bad look like and we try to improve on it and not only that one we also listen to them what they want to what they want to learn uh, what they're interesting and try to focus on that because without this one, it's gonna make the people not come again. Because to create the combination, it's not the one time, it is the journey. So people need to come and come again. Uh, and you can see, uh, we start with a small soft run that is a few people acting, and then we expand it to the larger group, and sometimes get the, uh, get few, get low people on it and then we need to do something sometimes we promote more we create the new thing try to change the exercise to the something new that make people more interested to increase the number of the participant and one thing that i learned from the organizing this one i learned about the type of the participant more people just try to exploring they come to observe what happened in the section try to meet some fan because some fan invite them. Some people just saw at one, but some people uh, love it and want to continue more. And then they join more than that, more than one, and become the regular. And then they start active on the exercise. They didn't just be the silent and to observe. And some people is very passionate about it and want to be the architecture expert. They join almost every time and become the core member, help the community to organize more and more. And how to get things start? First, I will recommend you to know your why. Why you want to do that one? And what do you want from, from the community? What is your objective? What is 
motivate you to do that, and then you can define uh, who is your target audience, uh, what is the purpose for the community, for who, and then you can try to look at that, at the their pain point, what they concern, what they worry about, they have any problem that they want someone to discuss or any solution. And then you can create the community objective and the vision. And when you have that one already, you might try to validate your idea and assumption first. It might be the conversation with your friend. What do you think about the community? What do you think about this one? Or you might do the survey or the poll in your comic, in your organization. And then, as I mentioned, uh, doing the community, it took a lot of effort and time. If you do it alone, it will be gonna very exhausted. So it's better to find your co-founder and your buddy. And also, you can see what you have, what you're strong, what is your weakness, any gap that you cannot do or you need someone to help you. That one is really better in the long term. So find your buddy and the co-founder. If everything already, just start some more. Do the some soft run first, invite only the some fan very close to you. Do something together and don't forget and don't forget to correct the feedback. Because without that one, you will don't know what you're gonna improve, what they struggle, what they want. And also, it is a journey. You cannot do only one and hope it's gonna succeed. You need to do more than one and keep the ball rolling. Sometimes people might be gonna drop off, but you might need to do the experimental again. Try what is the what is the ten now, what they're interesting now, and how to experimental more and learn and mature. And every community have the end of the lives. Sometimes people already practice it, know it already, or sometimes the topic it might be outdated. So people might be interested in, in the another topic more than that one. And when it end of the life, we call it at the sunset. And when it comes, it's time to celebrate. Let me recap what I talk about. Uh, about the community of practice, it creates the support network, knowing and development, knowledge sharing, scale the common practice, collaborate, and the better practice. Get starting, know your why, and know who you, know who the community is for, know their pain point, find your buddy and co-founder to help you organizing that one, and then start delivering the value. Maybe start from the sharing the story, create opportunity for the learning, create environment for to the collaborate. And the last one is really important. Do it regularly because one time is not enough. If you still wonder how can I change the organization, the thing that I learned organization doesn't change if, it, if people don't change. It is time for your journey. Thank you. Please raise your hand. Okay. A second. Hello, Cap. Uh, just curious. So apart from the software architecture, right, that you you found, so is there any other COP community of practice in in ThoughtWorks and how how kind of those tie together, right? Uh, it has many community since the go thought work is the global one, but uh, the most active one in the Southeast Asia that we co work closely with the Singapore office, it is the architecture and the front end one. More than that, you can join the another office, maybe the uh, security or the maybe on the some business side, like the business analyst 
all the product thing. So what do you find as a key pain point for the software developer in ThoughtWorks? Uh, it's, it's hard to say, but I, I found out it's like the, since the, in the thought work, we have a lot of developers, right? Some is very senior, some is very senior, some is very junior. When we do the something like the architecture, it requires a lot of knowledge. Some people don't have any basic knowledge of it. Like the, what is the cow computing? What is the load balance? And when they join the section, they feel very stuck. When they join the discussion in the group, they cannot capture a lot of them. And in the work normally, sometimes they do a lot of front end and they didn't have the chance to exploring on that one. And when we join the section, they struggle a lot. And it's really hard to teach very basic thing to the people, since you can lead from anywhere. But Mori just hope them can get some inspired from, from the section and know who can talk to and learn from. What else? OK. <laughs> So do, do you have a, like a moderator or somebody that facilitates the, the meeting? Because you say maybe some are very senior with a lot of experience, some are junior. Uh, yep. It, it not explicitly, but... Uh, or is it you? Uh, you not me, because it have the need to be into the smaller group. Right? So Mori, I make the participant register in front, and then I try to lead the how senior it is. Like the, in thought work, we have the gate, like the senior consultant or consultant or the graduate. And then I try to make it together in one team. So at least each team should be have the someone have been senior enough to doing, lead, doing the architecture by themselves already. And then just put the junior there. So hope it can learn and the senior can lead. But sometimes it works, but sometimes it not. Uh, so but how your how, core members are mainly junior or senior? It it depends. But more we try to have the someone uh, at the overall level and try to jump allow it loom to be the like the architecture read that can mentor about the some solution. Thank you. How you engage the people in the small team to stay with you until the end of the session or until the end of your journey, right? For example, you have the small team, right? Yep. There will be many, many sessions. How you engage them to stay with you? Hmm. Um, I'm not sure on this one, but uh, one thing that I didn't mention, a lot of uh, since the doing the architecture exercise took a lot of time, and mostly we do it after work, allow six to nine. And I feel like the more people that gonna sign up for that one, they have commit something already. So more they prefer to stay at the end. And and one thing that I found out is like uh, to make them engage. More people engage more in the smaller group that it's easier to share their opinion, and when they share, someone listen to them. Not like, the, oh, sen only the senior, this one, and everyone is just being silent and look. Try to keep them interactive in, in the group. It might be some engagement that can do, and keep them to the end. OK, anyone else? So how do you in, how do you measure the success of your COPs? Oh, it's it's very hard question. I try to think about it, and Mori, the thing that I found out is just for the one thing that you can do is feedback, and about the how people about the retention, how people keep 
join your community. Okay. Anyone else? Okay, okay. Because <laughs> we're also having a COP architect mm. community. That, that's why I'm interested. Uh, so, so you are junior. You said you, you started it because you felt a bit not in touch with other people? Uh, I'm quite a bit senior, but not oh, okay. very senior. Because in, in Dortmund, we have very variety of the experience. Someone is maybe 10 years, 20 years. Someone is maybe just very good or two years. I'm quite a bit in the middle. And so what was your motivation, in fact, to... Firstly, I have been joined this one before, the architecture kata. But worry is not the community. It's just one time and when and missing for a while, and then it just popped up. But I want to do it at fully. Uh, try to force myself to do to learn about the architecture, and I believe to do architecture is not like just read the book, know the concept, but it's better to learn from the expert, right? Know the from from the someone else because it's like I, I found out it no right or wrong to do the architecture. It always depend on something. And a lot of things that we read about the architecture, mostly we read from the very big company. And it's very hard to apply into the organization or the real world because it has this different state, different pom pom. Sometimes people try to follow the Facebook, the Google, the big company, and it's not work, or it's maybe too expensive to do that one. So I feel like the if I can bring the people to learn together, I can learn it from them too. That is my main motivate to do the community. So, so the senior architects do join? The, uh, the, the ones with the experiment, experience, they do join the... Some, sometimes I need to ask them to join. Like uh, ask them to be the gate, uh, to be the architecture lead. It's funny, because in our company it's the opposite. The, it's the senior, uh, senior architects who started the community because they said, we lose too much time, the juniors, they're doing a lot of mistakes, and then we, we have to come like firefighters, you know, to put fire out, to correct the mistakes. Hmm. So we just want to have a COP to teach them and make the work better so we can have more quiet time to work on our projects. Uh, so th it's funny that our motivation came from the other side. Yeah, so, so I was wondering, thank you. Thanks for sharing that one. Any, anyone else? Anyone else would like to ask a question? All right. Um, so, thank you so much, Kuntira, for sharing like how you build up the um, community. Um, and may I please like give somebody a gift for you? Wait a minute. Thank you. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> 